What's good, good JD fam? fam? Welcome back to another video, y'all. So today, um, we're having a Christmas party tonight. I've been outside pressure washing. Jory's been cleaning inside the house. Um, so that's why I just came from outside. Jory's been cleaning, so we look like a mess. Um, Speak for yourself, honey. Well, you look beautiful. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she always looks good. Guys, it looks fine. He's annoying. Yeah, I'm oh, all kind of violently right there. I want you. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right now. You're still on my Go ahead, go ahead. Nah, y'all, so what, what are we doing, Jory? We're doing, um... We are having... We're gonna ask each other a deep conversation. No, deep questions. To have deeper conversations. And a lot of times, people who just started dating kind of do this. Or, like, if you're dating somebody, you know you should do this. But, like, this is supposed to, like, make your relationship deeper. And even though we're married, we've been together for... Five years. Five Four years. Five years. <laughs> You know, we can still have these good conversations and just kind of like pick each other's brain and I figured this will be fun. A lot of people ask us to do this, so we have some questions and we're gonna ask each other some questions. Like some of these questions are like deep questions about your life or about relationships. And then you have like some fun questions, like we we'll do fun questions, so we'll just okay. take turns. Oh, and future questions too. So I'm very curious to see if we know each other well or if we get surprised by like some of our answers. Mm. Like what if somebody says something and like we don't agree and like we're like, dang, we shouldn't have gotten married. Too late for that? It's not a too late. Alright. Let me ask you first. Yeah, you guys. Okay guys, so let's get it. Oh, we're supposed to do a dance. A dance? Remember? Blah, come on. Blah, come on, come on say it. Long wrist, long wrist, long wrist. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, you asked me. Okay. Okay. What should a healthy relationship provide for the people in it? A healthy relationship should provide. Love, peace. Um, I don't know. A healthy relationship. You should both feel. You should both feel. Um, you should be equally, equally yoked. You know what I'm saying? A healthy relationship should not be one-sided. It should be, you know, both sides is putting in effort, but both sides are also happy um, in the relationship. Yeah. So if you're not happy, then it's not good. I mean, you, nobody's ever gonna be happy 100% of the time, but you should be. You do. Okay. Everybody will have rough patches, but at the end of the day, like, really, a healthy relationship, I mean, the biggest thing, I guess, would be communication. Because if you are unhappy, or if you are, like, because I was gonna say love, but it's a lot of people that love people that's not healthy at all. You oh, know and love is not love. Love can make you crazy. So, yeah, love I think communication probably because, like, oh, sorry. If you're feeling unhappy about something you don't like that they do something like this or you know being able to just sit down and calmly talk about it instead of letting it build up and then stuff like that so okay that's good thing okay, okay. you can just go a lot you can you could just go there's so many like you don't have to do the first one these what's days. uh what's something you're glad that you'll never have to do again i seen that question and i was hoping he was gonna ask me that because i literally um Something I'm glad I'll never have to do again. High school. Yeah, okay. <laughs> College! Well, I don't know if I, if I might have to go back. Well, I don't know. Go back? What you trying I, to go back for? No, like, I mean, what if I have to take like a class rock or something or like a certificate like to work somewhere? Yeah. I guess, yeah, school. Like, I love school, that was great, but I'm so happy I never have to go back to do that again because that was a lot. But it was great, but I don't want to go back. Is that not, is that good? Is there anything you consider absolutely unforgivable? Um, it's okay, I mean, no. As, as far as relationship, I mean, so, so as a whole, no. Why? As a whole, no, because, you know, I believe in God. Period. God That's forgives. Me. But in relationship wise, there's certain things that if you do that, can't come back from it, I think. Oh, like if you kill my sister or something. Whoa! Well, yeah, I, what I if, can't be with you no more. What if she was probably to kill me? 
well, I don't know. We're we not going to get into details. But I'm saying, like, Ella? unforgivable, like, I think because God forgives, we should forgive, you know. Um, so there's nothing that is unforgivable to me. Like, I might forgive you, but... You ain't going to forget yeah, like you're forgiven, but you you're you're forgiven from over there. You're not coming back around. Oh, you know so what is it? What is it? What do I do? Don't say kill it. Too. Like, things. like what? What's a small thing? Like not small, but like not killing. I mean you're cheating. And then we both said <laughs> we both said if somebody cheated, we felt like I <laughs> couldn't forget that. I know I can forget it, but it was you stand. So you would, if I cheat, I don't know. Stand. I don't know. It depends how grimy it is, you know. <laughs> like if it's with somebody I know, like somebody I thought was that's a friend true. or something. That is true. That's something I can never. That is true. You know, but I don't know. I okay. guess. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I like this one because I wanted you to ask me this, but I'm gonna ask you. I'll ask you. Let me ask you. No. Nah. Well, you can tell your answer after you ask. If you woke up tomorrow with no fear, what would you do first? Evan, I know your answer. What's my answer? If your answer is heights, I swear on everything. No, I'm, I'm talking about like realistically. Okay, wait, if what I woke was the up, again? if you woke up tomorrow with no fear, what would you do first? No fear. No fear of anything, like. I ain't afraid of that. Wait, okay, wait, wait, let me think. Let me think. What would you say? I quit my job and go all in on YouTube. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay. I see what like, you're like, cause you know, me, I want to go. All in on YouTube, become a full-time YouTuber, but I'm scared to like quit my job because that's the main source of income, you know what I'm saying? But if I had no fear, I'd quit my job and just put my all into it. Mm. Like realistically, is that's what I do. Let's see. But I'm fearful of not being able to. I don't like to say the word fear because God says fear not be anxious of anything, but I know what you mean. Mm. I don't know. I'm trying to really think. Like I guess, yeah, I guess just like doing something, like. Following your dreams and just doing something, I guess. So voice acting, I'll move to California and not care about what my family and stuff is. Like, I just... Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Really it's weird because you, is that fear of love? You know what I'm saying? Not caring about what you're, you know what I'm Yeah, I mean, but it's not it's like what they, not about. what they think, but like, just being like, oh, being afraid, like being by myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess that. Being afraid of being with myself. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't go for something. No. Okay. Do you usually follow your head or your heart when you're making decisions? My head. Personally. Do you think following your head or heart is better? I don't know. I don't know. That's a deep one. I just made that up. For real? Yeah, I wasn't on it. When I asked the last part about it, which one's better? I don't know. I think like following your heart, following your dreams type, you know, it's riskier, but you could have either a great outcome or a bad outcome. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's like kind of an adventurous way to live. But following your head is like the more strategically smart decision. Like before I make a big, like a big decision, I'm gonna think about it. You know what I'm saying? But you want to have a mix of both, I think. Like you want to follow your heart, but you don't want to do something stupid. You know? What yeah, I'm I don't saying? think. And I guess it depends too, like. Cause like I feel like it's different for every for the person. That's like for example, it's a lot of people that they love somebody, but that person abuses them and mistreats them, cheats on them, does all that. But if they follow their heart, they're gonna because their heart still has that love. But if you follow your head and say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being," you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's a lot of different. I mean, at the end of the day, you I feel like you gotta have a mix of both because you gotta know. You can't just go chasing everything that your heart wants, you know. Well, if you, okay, let's say you're a Christian, you follow God, so do you think that's your head or your heart? That's your heart, for sure. It's, it's, it's definitely your heart. That's what I'm saying. Sure, I think it like, just depends on the person because when I say I follow my heart, I think of God for some reason. That's what I'm saying. I think it just depends on your view of it, yeah. what it is, what that means to you. It depends what's in your heart, too, because some people, that's what I'm they saying. They desire. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like when you're following God, you're yeah. following your heart because, but when I say I'm following my head, I don't know why. Somebody could have a different example. They could think, well, my head is God. I don't know. But for me, I feel like when I say I'm following my head, I'm following what I want. You yeah. know, what I think. And I don't know everything. And I, I know sometimes I act like I do, but I don't. But my heart, I don't know. But like yeah. you said, it's a good habit. That's a good one. All right. Um. Um. 
you could write a note to your younger self, what would you say, but in, in only three words? A note? A note. Three words. Tell, tell your younger self three words. It could be two. It just has to be three. It's either gonna be like it's okay. Cause I wanna say it's gonna be okay, but it's not. That's fine. I guess say just it'll say, be okay. That's three. It'll. It'll. No, I'm just gonna say. So they will. Follow you know, God. Uh, follow God. Okay. No worries. No worries. Now you got four, so you follow God. <laughs> Give me this. What would you say? <laughs> I don't know. That's your question. What would you say? Think about it. Okay. Just be. That's my question. Okay. What about our relationship makes you really happy? Uh, I'm, I'm happy that we're like, we're really friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, our, our sense of humor matches up. Like, we can... No, but I'm happy that we're friends. Like we we laugh together. We uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I remember, yeah. You remember what? Just like a, a lot of a lot of relationships is like a relationship. You know, you see the people and they got love for each other, but I'm not really friends. Like, you are my best friend. Like, you can make me laugh more than anybody else can make me laugh. It's like that. But a lot of people have that, like they have their friends and then they have their girl. And their friends is like who they be like joked out with. Yeah, and then the girl is about, you know, even, it might even be love, but sex and that romantic type. Mm -hmm. But we have all of that. So it makes me, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we kind of have, we kind of have the best of both worlds. So it makes me happy. Aww. Okay, I think we should have two more questions. Like you have one and I have one and yeah. we'll be done. So, cause I already have one, I already see the one I want, and if you take it, I'm gonna be pissed. No, I'm trying to really think No, well, think about it, cause you might not know. What's, what's one behavior that you will never tolerate? Behavior? Yeah. Complaining. Complaining and not trying to do anything about it. I cannot stand that. That is the biggest pet peeve complaining and not doing anything to do because you know evan knows i am a plan girl i like to solve it i don't like you to sit and talk about stuff like okay what are we gonna do about it i'm not gonna sit here you see how i just say i cannot I no i can't no 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 that is no. not tolerated in my world and i'm not saying you can bitch i'm not saying you can whatever but there's some people that kind of just will sit there and oh this is happening to me or, oh this and this and this and it's like i can be there for you but it is like okay like me naturally, I'm just like, okay, so now what? Like, what are we gonna do about it? Like, well, you how can't, you can't never just be like, man, like, uh, like, I don't know. Jory, like one thing we say a lot, both me and Jory, like, man, like we need to get back working out or whatever. Um, so I'll sit there and be like, man, I, I'm skinny. I need to get back in the gym. And Jory would be like, Oh my God, Evan! What are you gonna do about it? When are you doing this? What days are no, no, you gonna no, no, do? No, 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 Evan, Evan. That's how you be. Well, no, real. don't, don't make them think like, oh, you can just say. Like, let's say you say something and they're like, oh, I want to do this. Evan, the reason I get like that because Evan will say this. He's not telling y'all. He'll say this every single day, a hundred times a day. So I do it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like, go out there, do it. Don't just be talking. But it's not even just Evan. I just mean with anybody. Mm -hmm. People will complain about things. Or they'll be like, whoa, it's me, but they're not trying to do anything to get themselves out of that situation. So, like, I, I don't know what it is, but I hate that. Because, like, I just feel like, I know me. Like, if I'm going to do something, I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm going to just do it. I like yeah. actions more than words. No, I agree. But, I, I mean, I get sure. it. I know, but I don't, I don't want them to think, like, oh, a friend could just be like, oh, I'm sad. And I'm just like, oh, we'll be happy. Like, if you can vent, but, I mean, you know you say that. And Evan will do a lot. Like, look in the mirror, do this. Look at people. Like, don't act like you just. Oh, I'm just talking. No. Because I did, but then also because I say that it motivates you. You be getting up, you do stuff that you maybe don't. All right, all right. Um, last one. Huh? Last one. Where'd it go? Okay. What's your biggest fear for this relationship? 
Our biggest fear for this release food? Yeah. I mean, I say my biggest fear would be. I mean, my biggest fear would be losing you, like, in a car crash or something, like, unpredictable. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I was thinking, like, I don't really have no fears because, no, I know we're going to have our ups and downs. But um, as far as relationship-wise, like, oh, I'm not scared to get a divorce or something because I know that. As long as I do what I'm supposed to do, unless I go out and, like, cheat or do something crazy, I know that we're going to work through something because I got trust in you. But, um... I'm not gonna like, I was thinking like that. I don't really have too many fears like that about like losing love or something like that because I know we won't work it out. But I mean, it would it would suck if you die. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that for you? Yeah, I mean in general, no. Yeah. Okay, would you want me to die for you or you to die for me? No. Or us at the same time? Me and Evan made a promise. We said... Well, I'd rather at the same time, but I'd rather die before you. No, no. I don't want to live a day without you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stop. Okay, we're done. Let me make sure the camera is still rolling, because that was a good one, bro. Okay, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I can't... Yeah, no. Nah. But no, me and guys, me and Evan made this promise to ourselves. We said we're promising that hopefully we will die at like 99. And... You can't promise that. Well, no, like, we're speaking. Yeah. But then we said we're going to promise each other that we're going to go out together, holding hands like this, and we'll be talking to each other. So when they find us, our bones will, like, look, we have like this. So, so, baby, so, what we said, like this. They don't want to be buried, like. Yeah, but you know, a lot of times, like, old, old folks, like, you'll see an old, like, an old couple been together, like, 60 years, and when the wife dies, it's like the husband dies of a broken heart. That literally happened to my great grandparents. My great grandma, Big Mama, like we call her that, she passed away. And she was like 80, like late 80, no, or 90. And then my great dad, um, he was fine, like his health was fine. But after she passed away, like he died like a few months after that. And they said like he probably died of a broken heart because there was nothing in his complication. That is so sad, but cute because they lived their whole lives together though. I mean, they were like both 90. And they got together in their 20s. Like, that's crazy. But that's all the videos, guys. If y'all like these videos, if y'all want us to do more of this, like ask each other questions, or if you have some questions you want us to answer, hit us up. Make sure to follow us, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. Say your say thing, you know? Okay, ready? Let's sit together. One, two, three. We about to dip. See you in the next clip. Deuces.